I'm Gayatri. This is my home. Come on in. This is the living space. This is the most dramatic space in our house and we've gone with very bold colors which actually fall outside my preferred palette. But we did this to draw attention to the galleries that we've created on these walls. The yellow gallery wall is a collection of my art while the gallery on the green wall is something that we actually put together during the lockdown. It's an assortment of things that I already had with me at home. For instance, the Dashavatar that you see, it's, a, it's an antique piece that my husband picked up from Bengal quite a while ago. So basically we got very creative with this gallery wall. But what uh, holds the place of pride in this room is the bookshelf. My husband and I are voracious readers. In fact, I'm an editor, I work in the publishing industry, so I work with books. And this shelf holds part of what we own. Uh, for example, it has our collection of the different versions of Alice in Wonderland and uh, one of them is a pop-up book. The dining room is really the centre of the house, the heart of it. This is where our friends always gather whenever we are hosting. This is where conversations get drawn out over hours. So we've kept things a little casual here. There's a record player and our small stash of LPs. You'll see some posters up on the walls. And these have been collected over years from numerous places. Some are gifts, some were picked up during our travels. And the most precious thing in this space for me personally are the pieces of vintage china that I've inherited from my mother and my aunts. This, for example, is from the 1950s when Bengal Potteries was creating gorgeous china ware. But unfortunately, I've found only three pieces. I don't know what happened to the rest of the tea set. This terrace is the most favourite, most beloved space in the house for both me and my uh, husband. We grew up in small towns and we've lived very close to nature. I've always had a garden. Uh, I've always run around with names of birds and plants running inside my head, you know. Uh, so this space that you see, this is our version of it in uh, Delhi. And this is eight years worth of grunt work, blood and sweat, but it's really all been worth it. Because this is, this space, this is what keeps both of us centred and sane in this chaotic world. This is the blue room for lack of a more appropriate description. Uh, but this is where we unwind after work. Whether it's watching TV or just chilling, you'll find us here on a weeknight. And we've kept things a little easy and minimal here because this also doubles down as our guest bedroom. And I am a maximalist, so doing minimal is a bit tricky for me. While I do have a gallery wall here in this room, I've kept it very clean, very bare bones. And the frames that you see against the blue wall, these are pictures that I took uh, during my trips to the hills. They are really daily reminders of our shared love for the hills. This is the master bedroom and uh, it's arguably the most important part of the house and it's also my workspace. This room is smaller but it has a lot going for it. There is, once again, a bookshelf which holds our favourite titles and books that we are currently reading. It's really a rotating and shifting collection of titles. The frames above the bed are again things uh, that remind us of our travels. I have a habit of picking up wildflowers and leaves wherever I am and I get them back, press them and then I get them framed. So each frame that you see up on the wall, it speaks of a particular place, a particular journey for us. My work desk is a sacred space for me. This is where I think, where I write, edit, read. This is where everything happens. And here I've surrounded myself with keepsakes from the past. Everything on the table and the shelf above it has a little story, a little anecdote attached to it. 
and that's what I love most about this corner. All the stories and memories that it carries for me. I'm a student of history and I think that's what drives my love for all things old and vintage. Thank you for watching this video and for more such content, don't forget to subscribe to LBB's Homely Newsletter.